today is a great, wonderful, amazing, incredible day. And I'll tell you why it's an incredible day. Because it's a Finnish and Swedish day. What Swedes think of Finns. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> Hi guys. I hope you're having a splendid day out there. Today we're going to talk about a rather controversial topic and uh, to be honest I'm pretty scared about talking about it and why that is I'll get to that later. But today we're going to talk about what Swedes think about Finns. Hopefully he's very polite about this because I don't want any arguments in the comment section. I love my Finnish subscribers. Subscribers, and I love my Swedish subscribers. You know, I love you guys. So I don't want any arguments. So hopefully, this is nice. <laughs> but I think you guys love each other anyway, so it's not a problem. And please bear in mind that these are generalizations and mere opinions from the Swedish people, and not my opinions. These are general conceptions of the Finnish people, and does not in any way reflect the Finnish population in any way. It's just what the Swedes think about the Finnish people. One of the things that Swedes think about the Finnish is that their language is pretty harsh. A lot of Swedes think that the Finnish language isn't one of the most beautiful languages in the world. However... Do you know what's funny? Is that... I just, it just dawned on me just now. Yeah, like... It's so funny that Sweden and Finland, you guys, are, you literally share a border. Yet your languages couldn't be more further apart. It's the weirdest thing ever because Finland, your language does sound harsher. It just does. It sounds a lot harsher. And then Sweden has like the sweetest kind of like sing-songy language in out of all the European languages. You literally cannot get <laughs> you can't get more like joyful and sing-songy than a Swedish accent. I'm sorry, guys. And then the Finnish accent, there's only one other European, for me, European accent, maybe two. Maybe the Germans and maybe, I don't know, the Russians and the Austrians, maybe. Apart from that, you're quite up there with one of the harshest <laughs> European languages. So you're like polar opposites, yet you share a border. How strange is that? Have you ever thought about that? I just thought about that just now. Yeah. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> when Finns speak Swedish, it's almost like it's the opposite. So the Finnish almost yeah. start to sound very timid and kind when they start to speak Swedish. Almost in the same sense that we think about the Norwegians. Another thing that Swedes think about the Finns is that there's some kind of anger towards the Swedes. I know that this might not be the truth is because that? I did a video where I stated this previously and I got a lot of comments saying that we don't hate Sweden, we hate learning Swedish. I can see why it's frustrating to be forced to learn a language which isn't that big and mm. isn't that useful. But it derives from the fact that Finland was a part of Sweden for a very long time, and so tradition has brought it up to modern day. Yeah. But in my opinion... It's funny that there are certain things that just stay... They don't make any sense. It's like, guys, why do we still do this? But no one has decided, you know what, we should really look at this. and Because it's not a priority. It's like, yeah, okay, it's a second language. Why don't we learn it? But it's like, yeah, they probably should, like, change the language. Maybe get rid of Swedish and just do English or do extra English so your English is even better. Like, I don't know, like, yeah, maybe. But because it's part of tradition, there are things that we do in tradition that just stays and sticks. I'm trying to think right now as I'm speaking what we do in Britain that you know, she could, it'll come to me. But there are things that we have in tradition. It's like, why do we still do this? We don't need to do this. So, yeah. But I don't think you guys, you're not angry about it, are you? What do you think in the comment section below? Let me know if you feel that Swedish should no longer be taught in Finnish schools. Let me know in the comment section below. And it would be more useful if the Finns would focus on learning Finnish, English, and maybe if they want to learn Swedish, that could be an optional thing. Another thing that Swedes think about the Finns are that they are patriots, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. They love their true? country. They love everything related to Finland. Good thing, actually. I like that. Um, okay. Yes. <laughs> another thing worth yeah, mentioning. Yeah, you are, actually. I did never, I never thought about it in that way because when I think of patriots or patriotic people, I think of Americans because they're like the most in the world. Well, one of the most in the world. Um, 
But actually, yeah. Thinking about it, Finland, you are quite proud. I think, like, all my Finnish subscribers, when I, like, read the comments, you guys are very, very proud of your country. And that's a really good thing. You're also, like, you'll fight for Finland. And that, I find, I find that aspect of the way that you are with your country really, really inspiring and really, really amazing that you guys, you really love your country and your countrymen and like you are all you know you all do conscription and you all go up and you learn how to fight so that if there was a war you'd all stand up against whoever is trying to you know come after you you know like russia um and i think that's incredible i think sweden and like england were very kind of like i don't know um i just feel like if push came to shove and they tried to get everyone to like <laughs> sign up to the military we'll be like absolutely not we're not doing that <laughs> we're kind of screwed if um you know there was a war and we needed to sign up because i just don't think anyone would whereas finland i think you guys would be pretty you know what i mean you would fight until your last soldier like the last person that's like alive in your country would fight like we, yeah so i respect that is when Swedish do parodies of Finnish men, they are mostly portrayed as harsh, aggressive, and masculine, which kind of conveys the general sum of how Swedes think about the Finnish men. What could be noted as well is that we know that Finns portray Swedish men as the opposite, which is soft, loving, and feminine. I want to. Mmm. So, so, okay. Okay, so the men in F Finland are very masculine, or portrayed as such, very masculine men. And then the, the men in fin and Sweden are portrayed, portrayed, betrayed, betrayed? I think it's the right, right word. Um, as being soft and sweet and feminine. Hmm. So clearly none of those things are, are a bad thing. Being soft, loving and feminine, and being masculine and hard and strong, um... They're both amazing traits and people, but clearly you both take the piss out of each other. I want to quote a thing that Sveriges Radio or the Swedish radio uh, wrote in an article. It's almost as if an alcoholic matcha brute met an happy, cozy gay. And that's yeah. another thing I wanted to mention is that Swedes think that a lot of Finns are homophobic. I know that this isn't the okay. truth. But that's how we see that. I, I've gotten a lot of comments, mostly from Finnish people, saying, Oh, you're gay. I don't see why that's an insult, though. But for some reason, that's the only nationality I've gotten that type of comment from. Mmm, my Finnish subscribers. Let me know in the comment section, would you say that's accurate, that like in Finland... Um, being gay is seen as a negative thing. How are gays treated in Finland? Um, yeah. Do you guys have a Pride Month? I don't know if I've ever heard of Finland ever having like Pride, like Helsinki Pride or anything like that. Let me know. Let me know. I know Sweden, the gays, you know, are very embraced and stuff, I think. Um, but yeah, let me know. I don't really know much about like LGBT rights in Finland. It's a European nation, so I'm guessing it's fine in law. But how are they really treated? Let me know in the comment section below. I don't know if that makes it true or not. But hey, that's up to you. <laughs> Another thing that Swedes think about the Finnish people is that they are melancholic and almost quiet type of people. Mm. Which is kind of interesting when you consider the fact that a lot of Finns love the music genre heavy metal. I don't know if there's a connection there that if Very. you're quiet and melancholic, you are into more aggressive type of music or not or if there is <laughs> kind of a good outlet for your uh, anger within yourself i don't know i'm not a professor in any <laughs> your your anger within yourself i don't believe you're all angry finnish finnish subscribers um <laughs> you do love heavy metal i also love heavy metal though I, I i'm beginning to realize i also love heavy metal i've never been a heavy metal fan but from this, like hearing and watching these heavy metal videos, I'm really enjoying them. Like I'm truly enjoying the, enjoying these videos. So I just think I'm a fan of music in general. So I get it. Heavy metal's cool. 
anything itself. Maybe you know why that is. But it's very interesting, nonetheless. So yes, this has been a very controversial topic, I know that, and I'm pretty sure that the comment section below is a storm <laughs> of bet. people saying weird stuff to me. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to portray the general opinion about the Finnish people from the Swedish side. And this does not reflect anything what the Finns really are like. But as you can hear from what I'm saying right now, it's just it just feels scary to be mentioning things like this but because it feels like Finns do think a lot about what uh, Swedes think about the Finnish people and it Oh, he you can tell this topic is very content contentious contentious it, like he's like stumbling over his was like uh, 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 because he's worried that the Finns are gonna come in and like go crazy um, there clearly is some sort of slight tension between Swedes and Finns I think you have a great relationship let's not get it twisted I think you have a great relationship but there is an underlying you know small little you know back and forth kind of brotherly yet you know picking on each other kind of thing between the two of you like clearly um I do feel I do feel like feel like your relationship is very similar to the relationship between the English and the Scottish. Also, we share a border. We're two countries. We share a border. And the Scots and the English, we love each other. We do. We're brothers. However, there is an undertone of, you know, a bit of spite. I mean, the Scots, I would liken to the Finns and the English to the Swedes. The Scottish do come across, it's the British, the English will say that Scottish people have a harsher tone when they speak. You know, the Scottish accent's a lot harsher. They will probably say ours a lot softer and a bit, you know, oh, la di da di da ba 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 They will take the piss, like, basically out of us. And they also are not happy that the central government is in London, in England, and that, you know, all of the... All, everything, all the decisions are made in this central government that's not in their country, and uh, and they're pro and also Scotland overwhelmingly voted to stay in the EU, and England voted out of the EU. So you've got another country that, because of the other country, England, i.e. England, um, they've had to come out of the European Union. So there's tension between Scotland and England. I think it's not too dissimilar to the tension between Sweden and Finland. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> If it's not a, necessarily a good thing, then it's gonna bound to be, a, a, I don't know, hellstorm against me. But uh, hopefully I didn't offend you. You shouldn't be offended because you know who you are, I know who I am, and I love Finland in general. So who who am I to say? Uh, hopefully you had a great time here with me because I had a he splendid worried. time He's worried. with you. And until the next time I see you and your pretty face, I hope you have a splendid day. Don't comment that. Don't. Don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, he's definitely worried that someone's gonna come in, the, you know, some Finns are gonna come in a comment section and literally start arguing. But, you know, you can't be worried about people's opinion in 2024. Like, I just, I read people's comments and sometimes I get some weird comments or some. You know, some people, are just, so not many, but every now and again, I get like an odd comment and I'm like, mm, okay, you're having a bad day. That has nothing to do with me. It's got everything to do with you. So sometimes you just gotta be like that um, and not worry. But um, I like this video. Clearly, Swedes have opinions on Finns and Finns definitely have opinions on Swedes. And it's not too dissimilar to how, you know, the Scots have an opinion on the, on the English and the English have opinion on Scott so there you go guys thank you very much for watching until the next one I will see you very soon